That's fine. Thank you. Hmm. So it's the first breakfast we've had at one of the places we've stayed at. We've been trying to get out earlier, but because today should be a bit easier, we've been thinking that it's a nice idea and the lady recommended it. So <laughs> we've got coffee and we've had bread and jam. We've got cornflakes, but we didn't get any milk. We're not really that bothered about them anyway. And it's nice, we've got the windows and doors open to outside. Well, we're leaving Zabiri. Um, we go back over the bridge and basically pick up with where we came off the Camino yesterday. So we came down from there yesterday, and today we go up this way. La Rasoanya. <laughs> get boards like this along the way although this is the first but there have been information boards before so this is where we are now you can see we came down the hill yesterday and it's meant to be mostly flat today we've got these various little towns along the way apparently we're going to be um, following a river a lot of the way there's a bridge I think of Are ah it'll be here <laughs> and then we get to Pamplona so it should be quite an easy day today I think Fingers crossed, nothing goes wrong. <laughs> Don't want to speak too soon. Zubiri over there, we've just come up from the town. Calle Camino de Santiago. Camino de Santiago Street. <laughs> the street rather pieces out, doesn't it? <laughs> In terms of streets, the street rather pieces out. <laughs> We've got uh, plant works to one side. I don't know whether you can hear that, um, but it's quite a still morning. And we were just talking about the surprise that some people show that we're in Spain at all because of COVID. And it's one of the things I've been thinking about that there's a strange mixture of ideas about what's safe and the measures that we use and COVID. <laughs> For example, in France, the fact that they were very, very strict about scanning the QR codes when you went in to eat anywhere. And yet everybody was not wearing a mask. And here, they're much kind of keener on mask wearing and hand sanitizer and even not touching things in some places. Um, and yet everybody eats together. Not that we did, we ate outside. But, um, so there's that odd mixture. And then in the UK, everything's opened up. And yet people are surprised when you say that you're going to Spain. <laughs> Which is the judgment call, I think. Um, I think it's probably currently safer here than it is in the UK. But it does concern me a bit that people are sleeping in albergues and in dormitories. On the other hand, I think, certainly here, they're spacing people out a lot more than they were in France. So, and everything seems to be relatively under control. We're not hearing of anyone getting sick or anything like that. So, I think there are people in the UK that are currently thinking they're just not gonna go abroad this year. And I can understand why. But at the same time, they're happy to go and eat in restaurants and not wear masks. So, I don't know. It's a strange time to be living in. And you get these different attitudes, different mixtures. It's interesting. It's the factory. <laughs> and just over there, between the trees, is the biddy. So this is an interesting board. 70 years together on the Camino de Santiago next to the way of St. James. It's uh, um, mineral business from 1945. With the environment. Mining company, Arthur oh, is English. Founded in 1945, committed to the environment. Magnesite, what are the uses of it? In refractory, reducing heat loss, as is the case in the steel sector. Agriculture, acid water, combustion gases and polluted soils. Hmm. So it's down here, and I presume that's connected to the um, 
factory which is over there to the right you can see all the dust coming out of it <laughs> and then over here there's a guide to the birds of prey in this part of the way of St James and we've seen plenty of red kites up there in the top left there are also black kites hmm now we might have seen those and mistaken them for buzzards <laughs> I don't know uh, northern goshawk it's going to be in the trees I imagine forestal yeah <laughs> Uh, peregrine falcons, Egyptian vultures, wow, and golden eagles, that would be amazing to see. Hmm. Keep our eyes peeled. said it was an abbey and again as we've seen around here there are lots of little vegetable patches little snack truck Mira, son como potro, ¿cómo se dice potro? ¿Cómo se dice los que son? Mira las patas de Pero que hecho Son como más así más Pero que son malitos, ¿eh? Por eso te This is really nice, I was thinking. It's beautiful. <laughs> Apparently there are no more coffee stops until we're in Plamplona. There was a little coffee shop back there by the bridge but it was shut and I think a lot of people were disappointed <laughs> but we're not too bothered. We've heard about Camino Angels, that gentleman just pulled over to ask if we were doing the Camino de Santiago and we said yes and he said well we needed to go down there um, so we've turned back. Well, we missed it. There? I don't know the signs are but he said Pamplona's that way. <laughs> Here we are, I like the rock up there. It's been watching over us and there's the bridge at Arica again. There was a dust devil and by the time I got my camera up and running it had gone but it was just here. <laughs> you can feel the breeze now we're walking through the place. <laughs> I don't know what this is but there's a little Renault Clio like the one I used to have and my mum used to have except it's silver and ours was a sort of silvery green. <laughs> yeah.
Moderate your speed. Nice ruined building up there. So this is interesting, it's an old fountain and there's a sign here saying that it's for now, there's no guarantee that it's drinkable. Um, but here it talks about how they are trying to repair the ancient fountains on the route. There we go, a swinglish down there. <laughs> it's always been used as drinking water. There must be pets. Yes. <laughs> the sign says it's Puente de Iturgaitz. the bridge. In the water there are little minnows. They just darted away when I moved. There are some in the water over that way. Quite close. It's beautiful here. Yes, the water's running here, you can't see the fish, but when you get over to here, you start to see them moving. It's an absolutely lovely lunch spot. So our little picnic today is chorizo. It's very fine Spanish cheese and bread that we bought in the bakery. <laughs> and we're enjoying it, aren't we? We are very much. Mm. We've seen quite a few people passing on the bridge. They don't know what they're missing, sitting down here with the little minnows and the beautiful river. <laughs> quite a lot of confusion here. There was a big group just going past and they were Spanish and they were taking this route here, which is the route they recommend because it's flatter for bikes. Um, but it's also less sunny, so, but there's also this route <laughs> and you can do either. So we're gonna do this one because this is sort of, it's the one that's marked in the app as the main route. And we saw a lot of people coming this way earlier. Yeah. Bingo. <laughs> 
we just came to a gentleman at the side of the road who had a little fruit stall and he was selling them for charity so I've got a lovely looking peach um, it actually looks like a giant apricot I wasn't too sure whether it was a peach but it is <laughs> and Andrew's got a banana this route the sound of the river and the taste of peach <laughs> in my case banana for Andrew We've crossed back over the main road and we're now on an uphill again. There's an alternative route, mostly for bikes. Um, we're taking the walking route. We've got steps coming up. I can see behind us there's a lady um, that we saw on the train in Zaragoza. She got on the same train as us to Pamplona. She has a yellow backpack. I think there's also a lady that was on our bus actually from um, Pamplona to San Juan Pierdepo. I hadn't really expected sections like this where it's shaded and to one side we've got wheat fields which are yellow little towns with houses with towers by them and a track like this it's lovely it's now starting to get very hot <laughs> and we're passing an area that I think I remember passing on the bus which is more industrial. Um, I think it was near, I might be wrong, but I think it was near where we passed uh, School of English. <laughs> there it is, it's nice and cool under here. <laughs> that took us under the road. <laughs> We could sit at the top. <laughs> there is a place with chairs. The downside to this is that it will just get hotter and hotter and hotter while we do it. <laughs> and just around the back of this hill, sort of going around that way, we should see Pamplona. It is delicious.
This was a fulling mill. And that's the Bridge of Are, A W R E. They're mowing the grass. <laughs> it's a town, sort of on the outskirts of Pamplona, called Vijava. V I L L A V A. Only after 2020 would you see <laughs> places advertised with masks on like that. Esta gira. No lo mires. Interesting buildings. It's obviously a residential area. Through there. So this interests me, it says Religiosas de Notre Dame and the building is intriguing. I'm curious, what an intriguing house. Makes me want to write stories about it. Twenty-four degrees Celsius. It said it feels hot. It's not exhaustingly hot though. Sign ahead says Pamplona y Runya. We're just crossing over. Oh, to a nice river from Berlata, which was the town, district we just passed through. Pamplona doesn't tolerate sexual aggression. <laughs> Lovely park over there. There's a massive bird up there. It's absolutely huge. I imagine you can't see it. I've tried to take a photo. It had white on its body, black on the tips. And we're following a road on the outskirts of Pamplona. Uh, we walked by the river for a short way and now we're following these signs on the floor <laughs> which are Camino signs and they're every few yards that's really good you can see the city up ahead <laughs> huh? <laughs> 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 Over the bridge? 
Ja. The little running man. <laughs> rail drawbridge over which cars can and just did pass. <laughs> We're in Pamplona. <laughs> well, this is the old road of the pilgrims, also called Calle Carmen, Carmen. And we go up here until we get to the square and then we turn towards the cathedral and actually we then go right by the quirky little place where we had coffee the other day. You can still see the shining signs on the floor which are the Camino signs. cathedral and the coffee shop that I said was a bit like an art installation there. Bistrot is closed. <laughs> it was the toilets <laughs> that were like the installation. So now our apartment is down this street that's straight ahead. So we've been to our apartment and we're walking back to get a cup of coffee. We've stopped to have coffee by the square. <laughs> Not at the Cafe Arunia, but we're going to go there for dinner. <laughs> the Pinchos, because we'll be a bit too early for dinner, actually. Very fine coffees. And there's the bandstand. 25-4. Yesterday. Yesterday. <laughs> Four days. Ago. What day is it? <laughs> day is it? Friday night. Was it Friday? I just stopped to get some pan au chocolat or um, pan con chocolat and some bread for tomorrow in there. 
and we're just opposite the town hall. Ayudamiento. <laughs> I really like that building. <laughs> it's one of the most famous here. trying to put a video together of various people that we meet. <laughs> it was a fantastic shop that we just went into. It had everything we needed for the Camino. <laughs> this is our apartment, um, or the entrance to our apartment. We have to put in quite a long code to get through the front door. And then we have to put in another six digit code to get into the apartment itself. It's called Tres Reyes, the Three Kings. And it's just down the road from, a short way round from the cathedral. And this is our door. And here I have to put in another six digit code. <laughs> and here we are in the apartment. <laughs> and out here. So I was just saying a few words about the shop we just went to. It's actually a gentleman who's been living here for nine years, um, who's originally from Hungary. And eight years ago, he did the Camino himself. And he was very helpful in that I have a small blister on the side of my left big toe on the outside, which is really annoying because <laughs> I put so much time and research and tried out so many different pairs of shoes and socks. And it's only a small blister, but I've never had one before and I've done lots of practice walking in the shoes and blah, 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 blah. So, and I know various theories of how to treat blisters. I just thought I'd ask him. But he has this shop which has just got everything you could need for the Camino, including things like the Injinji socks, which are the toe socks, like gloves for your feet, which I've been wearing and really like. Um, but it was interesting talking to him. He was saying, oh yeah, also I got this buff, which... Um, I didn't think I'd need one. I have them a lot that I use at home and you know I use them a lot at home and there have been a couple of mornings where I've started getting earaches so I've been missing having my buff but we did think that when we got here we'd get the Camino special buff which is this one it's got sort of the Camino root on it so I thought right I shall treat myself <laughs> from the special shop but yeah he was saying that he hasn't heard he hasn't come across any other English um, people, per peregrinos, um, pilgrims doing the Camino this year. The, it's all European people. There haven't been many from Latin America, there haven't been Asian people who they normally see, and lots of French, Spanish people, but no English, and very few Irish. And it sort of doesn't surprise me because I think we're not in, well, from what I know, people that are doing um, holidays abroad this year, first of all, they're in the minority, a lot of people are just, you know, doing staycations. And um, a lot of people, if they are traveling abroad, are doing package holidays or just going to somewhere that is a resort and they've got insurance. And um, yeah, so probably what we're doing is quite unusual this year, but it's really, really interesting to see um, how the pandemic is affecting things and how people are coping and to talk to people right now while all of this is going on um and he was talking about which i already know how difficult it has been for people here he was saying he was lucky because he had a dog we met his little dog um because he could actually go outside during the really tough lockdown here but a lot of people couldn't even go outside even if they had children who were bouncing off the walls and i know because i was talking to them um having language exchanges during that time so, yeah, it was a really, really interesting conversation and a fantastic shop. <laughs> Just down from the cathedral. This is where our apartments are. Ours look out over the back. Our windows, that is. And if we go just up here, um, at the end of this road on the right is the cathedral. And that, um, 
cafe at the far end Hola. is where we had coffee when we were first in Pamplona the other day. de marisco, este soup, ensalada con pollo y patatas bravas, pimiento bola, it's the it's the roll of pepper, yeah, y queso de cabra con nueces. Also a plate of cheese. So I did accidentally instead of just ordering the cheap kind of I thought that. I would have the cheese without... Anyway, what I actually ordered was a much more expensive dish, that. And the... Um, <laughs> basically, I ordered the most expensive pinchos on the menu. Because I was busy looking at what was in them rather than at the prices and I thought they would all be cheap. <laughs> so this is a fantastic meal in the Café Arunia with pipers accompanying us. <laughs> I'm also very interested in watching the people eating churros with hot chocolate. Hmm. Hmm. No, it was the other place in Pamplona where we had churros. On the way to the bus station. Hmm. And I asked what was inside them and she said it was like what was in something that I'd already ordered. So I chose not to get it because we'd already got something similar. Hmm. Maybe the peppers with the cheese in. It's like pepper mixed with cheese. Taken lots of photos. Have you seen these pictures on the wall? It's hard to get them without lights. There we go. It's hard to get them without lights watching.
Never is everywhere. I found that absolutely fascinating inside. I was asking the gentleman that works there why the queen was slightly more central than the king underneath the center of the cathedral. And he was saying that actually it was the lights in the center that were slightly to one side of the sepulchre. <laughs> sepulchre. Oh. I'm curious about the family sitting at the side of the road here with the little girl. market. They have many indoor markets here. come to the Monumento al Entierro, which is the monument of the bull running, which they recommend you visit for a sense of the bull running without actually having to be there. Entierro. It's quite the monument. I don't know what I think about it. 
I mean, I know what I think about it. I don't like the idea of it at all. But having seen the narrow streets in Pamplona, there's not an easy way to get out of the way. <laughs> and they're channels rather than roads, I imagine. The Bar Bavaria was where we had coffee, Ale. I love the little turret at the top of that house. <laughs> Coffee. Hi. 